The most important part of every project is prep. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the drawers here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my crud cutter, that is my cleaner of choice, and go ahead and wipe down the entire dresser. I do inside and out to make sure I get all dust and debris off of the piece. Next thing I go ahead and do is I take one damp rag and one dry rag and I go ahead, the damp rag just has water on it, and I wipe down again to make sure that I get any residue of my cleaning product off of the piece. That way there's no reaction that can happen with the paint. This is my handy assistant, my awesome mom who helps me on all projects. She does all the cleaning and prepping on most of the pieces. All right, so that's all done. The clean, the prep is all finished as you can see. So now we're ready for our paint. What we're gonna be using today is Fusions Mineral Paint in Picket Fence. It's one of their truest whites and it's gonna look gorgeous with the special custom finish top we're gonna do. All right, it's time to go ahead and get started. I start by doing the frame and I like to do all of the little ins and outs of the piece to make sure that even when you don't see them from the exterior, if you open the drawer, everything looks nice and finished. And then I just make my way around the piece, slowly but surely, getting every nook and cranny covered on the piece. This is gonna go ahead and take more than one coat, obviously, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my one coat on, let it dry for about an hour or two, and then I will come back with my second coat. And for this piece, since the drawers are not flush mount, I go ahead and take them out and spray them in the shop itself. Um, also, as you can see, I'm using my cardboard trick that I always use. Instead of having to tape off all of the drawers, I go ahead and use my cardboard to line um, the edges and then I spray. It works perfectly every time. Once I put the drawers back in the dresser, I give them a once over to make sure I didn't miss any spots and I can go back and do the same exact thing. All right, now the fun begins. I'm gonna go ahead and sand my piece down to bare wood. As you can see, I've obviously fast forwarded this and it's still quite the long segment. Sanding to bare wood does take time and I always say don't rush it. I start with 100 grit or 80 grit depending on what my wood is and then I work up to 120, 150 and I'll either stop there if it's smooth enough or go on to 180. Here I'm just working with the 100 just to get the majority of the finish off. As you will see, I don't try to remove everything with the first grit of sandpaper. Just know when you're sanding a piece to bare wood, it does take a little bit of time, especially if the size of the piece is pretty big. Obviously, I'm not even halfway through and I'm still on my 100 grit. The key is not to apply too much pressure and make sure you move through the grits with ease so that you don't produce any coil marks or you don't have any issues with ruining the wood, causing divots, or anything like that. Yes, we're still at it, and I am still on my first grit, which is the 100 grit sandpaper, but as soon as we go ahead and get this last little section off, I will be moving on to my 120 grit, and you will see how quickly it's gonna go ahead and turn from this to something beautiful. It will really start to take shape. Once I go ahead and go through the 120 grit, I'll go and switch to the 150 grit, and then I stop there because I find that it is plenty smooth enough and ready for my final finish. take my blower and I go ahead and blow all of the excess dust off and then I will wipe it down as well before all I right, start so my here finish. comes the fun part I'm gonna go ahead and do a wash with fusions Algonquin and also their raw silk I go ahead and dilute the paint to create a really nice wash so that's not super pigmented and it's easy to work with. all right so this is where the fun begins I'm starting with the Algonquin wash and I go from one end of the dresser top to the other I'm not terribly concerned about getting the wash on my edge either because I can go ahead and clean that up afterwards with a little damp rag. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and do one little touch up with um, 
a trim brush after I'm all done with this. So now I've picked up the raw silk color and I'm not concerned about switching out my paintbrush because I want this to be a blended look anyway, so I'm not concerned that I'm cross-contaminating the colors. I really want it to be a nice soft blend. So I just continue with the process back and forth and I switch the colors out a few times. So the next step is to go ahead and grab a clean rag. I use the box of white rags to go ahead and do this. It's a nice lint-free cloth, and I just wipe back and forth just like I applied it. I wipe it back to take off all of the excess. And here is our final finish, a very beautiful, natural, wood-looking top with a nice wash to it. The final step is to go ahead and top coat, and I use my Erlux 5500 and my General Finishes High Performance Top Coat to do the job. And here is the final piece all done. I'm so happy with the outcome.